Tips. Welcome on into Workout Wednesdays. Uh, this is Dr. V with <laughs> Miguel Cervantes, <laughs> the Cerebo Trader. We're going to talk about different body types today. So uh, let's talk about. I learned this uh, from a previous trainer who was not quite as qualified as Miguel, I'm just going to say. But I like to do. But he looked at me one day, he goes, You know, you're an ectomorph. And I was like, What's an. I'm a what? I'm a who? Them's the fighting words, man. <laughs> yeah. Them's the fighting words. So, uh, as an overall rule... What did you call him? Yeah, I know. I was like, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so, as a general category, there are, I would say, three body types. Ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and... Endomorphs. Endomorphs. So, we'll use me as an example. I'm an example of an ectomorph. And the reason why it's important you learn about these different body types is because it's going to affect your results in the gym, right? It, it can, yeah. And it also affects your results in weight loss. So, I'm in, so describe what is an ectomorph. I'm an ectomorph. So, so how you'll see, if you look to this up, like bat, body types, they, they'll describe an, en, an ectomorph as the very first word most of them will use is tall. Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be tall? I'm, I am for an Asian. <laughs> it's for an Asian. For an Asian. You just blew up my whole thing right there. Dang. But technically, I like, that's subjective, right? Like, are, are we tall? Am I tall? I'm like five, nine, I would, I would say the first word is skinny. Skinny? Yeah. Okay. Not tall, so skinny. So, so a skinny. Typical an, skinny guy. An ectomorph would be like a like tall, skinny, lanky guy. Let's, yes. let's just go here. Let's like, just kind of like, uh. So, skinny arms. Uh-huh. Small, maybe maybe thinner joints, smaller bone structure. Skinny legs. Right? I'm not going there. I'm a, a small bone structure. Right? So yeah, yeah, ectomorph. Thinner so, on the smaller side, so on the, the thinner side. Yeah, that's an ectomorph, right? And what's the qualities of an ectomorph? Harder to. Yeah, they tend to not, you know, be able to add size. Yeah very easily it's they struggle even though you can go in there right. and hit the weights hard they're just not seeing the the muscle pattern. yeah so it's hard for ectomorphs like me to put on muscle mass we can work out for a lot and it's hard for us to put on uh, muscle mass now the reason why i'm telling you this is my four years i've been in new mexico i want to tell you most of you most of my patients are ectomorphs even though they're they're obese and they're round they have the skinny arms and skinny legs. If you're watching me and you have these skinny arms and skinny legs and most of your body, most of your obesity is in the middle, you're most likely underneath all that fat, I would call an ectomorph. Sure. So going to the gym for, and you carry most of your weight in fat. So, so most of you guys, it's hard for you to um, put on muscle mass. So that's why going to the gym, it, it might not be the best thing for you to do right away. Does that make sense? Now the typical athletic body shape is the middle one. The mesomorph. Mesomorph. Right. So I would say you're a mesomorph. That, that's people that can, you know, not exercise for quite a bit of time. <laughs> and then just kind of like after a few sessions, you'll just start to see results yeah. right away. You know? Yeah. So these are the typical athletic body types. They're more rectangular. They've got the defined pecs and the broad shoulders and the skinny little waists and they're the V shape. Right? Yeah. Big chest. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. 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 Pretty much described. Just an athletic muscular build. Yeah. So someone like Miguel, because you used to uh, play ball and stuff, right? Uh-huh. Rugby. You have a baller. <laughs> He's a baller. <laughs> Semi-pro, semi-pro sports. So that's, um, that's the athletic type. Those so guys will hit the, those guys will hit the gym and they'll have immediate results. That's like your big buff friend who keeps telling you to go to the gym with him. That's like the really fit girl who keeps telling you to, to go do Zumba with her. <laughs> no, you don't need to have weight loss surgery. Just go do Zumba. Those people are most likely mesomorphs, and they're just going to have faster results in the gym. So you can't um, like let that frustrate you. The third one is the endomorph. Endomorphs. So the endomorphs are typically the shorter, squatter, like real, like big, thick. Carry Trump. more fat. Trump this muscle hard, yeah. Yeah, fat though. Yeah. Right. Can be, yeah, just kind of thick, The real yeah. solid blocky think guys. George, I don't know why George. I think of George Costanzo. <laughs> Every time I think of it, yeah. like, that in my mind is like... So these guys are typically like like just big and like beefy, but like shorter and 
Um, <laughs> Jason Cisneros, my friend, would be <laughs> like a mesomorph if he's watching. Yeah. So what happens when these people try to go to the gym? So for each one of those body types, you, there, there's a, you know, diet is, is the key still yeah. because you're trying to change your, 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 how you look and the fat and how your body responds to training and your diet. So the last one we talked about lower fat, if you carry more fat, you need to have lower fat in your diet. Uh -huh. Focus on that protein, mm -hmm. higher in the protein, really focus on that. And um, may, may be sensitive to carbohydrates. Yeah. Right. So you kind of want to be aware of that diet. Right. As far as uh, how you train, um, I understand that high intensity is kind of the key because you're going to get your strength, you're going to build that muscle yeah. mass, but you need to keep it at a bit higher intensity to really fire up that metabolism and get after the fat as much as possible through exercise. So these three categories, ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs, um, they're not set in stone. You can be a blend. Exactly. What was that name that yeah, you, yeah, you learned? So there's a scoring system called the Heath Carter system. Heath Carter system. So you can uh, look that up. Heath Carter system. And what that'll do? That they, I understand that's a seven point system that will because there it's not too often that people will identify themselves mm -hmm. with either one of those three categories. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to be a combination. Yeah. So you can find out which combination you are, whether it's so, more vectomorphine. The, we'll, we'll wrap this up, but my the main thing I wanted to tell you guys, because you know, following me, most of you guys in weight loss surgery are are going to be like me, which are ectomorphs, like your the skinny arms, the skinny legs. I can almost guarantee you most of the Native Americans, after you lose all that that obesity, you guys are going to be ectomorphs underneath all that obesity. Um, and I see a lot of that here in New Mexico. So um, just think about that because when you go to the gym, you're not going to get big and beefy. It's going to take you a lot longer to gain muscle than you think. I've been working out for uh, almost a year and a half now, and I'm just now starting to see some definition. Sure. sure. There, well, there's there's do, there's do's and don'ts with all three of those. Okay, give me and some. Since, since you're saying that uh, the majority of your patients and things like that would most likely identify with the ectomorph, yeah, right. Then one one of the first things don'ts or do's is avoid excessive cardio yeah and that's not what they do the first thing that people that want to lose weight through exercise is they cardio themselves to death right which takes away from your muscle mass that you're mm. trying to require that's exactly right so it's right. limiting the cardio and focusing on that strength training yeah and that's maybe may, if you're not seeing results maybe that's why you yeah shift gears a little bit yeah i actually tell patients that a lot when you guys are ready to, to go work out you need to want have your food straight Right? you got to be making good food choices because exercise is going to increase your hunger. And when it increases your hunger, if you don't have your food straight, you're going to go to try to snacking like um, high-carb shit. That's not good for you. So you, one, you have to have your, your food straight. Number two, you have, to have your, you have to have your head straight. You have to have your head straight because you have to understand your goals, your objectives, um, why you're wanting to hit the gym, etc. And number three is you've got to be able to afford some sort of personal trainer. Do not go to the gym by yourself. Um, because you're just gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna waste time doing stuff like that nugget He just gave you right there could save you hours and hours and hours at the gym and And injury muscle injury pulling your back throwing out your hamstrings all sorts of stuff. So what you need to do is um, Get a trainer and tell them you want to build up your lean muscle, right? So I hope this broadcast has been helpful to you and we'll see you next week. We'll take some questions